Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Karl Marx's theory of economic development for UGC NET. Karl Marx presented his theory of economic development in his famous book named Das Kapital. This theory based on some assumption. First assumption is society divided into two classes. First class is capitalistic class, other class is labor class. Second assumption is workers are given subsistence wages. Subsistence wages means workers are given that amount of wages in which they can survive only. Next is factor of production are owned by capitalistic. There are two types of capital, constant capital and variable capital. Constant capital include uh, material and machinery and variable capital include our labor. Next is labors are homogeneous means all labor are same. There is perfect competition in economy and national income distributed between wages and profit. According to Karl Marx, labor is only sources of value creation, means values generated by labor alone. Even remaining factors like machinery also created by labor. So labor is very powerful and value created by labor is called surplus value. For example, total value of output which is produced by labor is equal to 500. But we pay wages to labor equal to 100. Because in this theory, we assume we pay wages to labor equal to substance level. We pay wages to labor in which they can survive only. And total value which is produced by labor is equal to 500, but we pay wages equal to 100. 500 minus 100 is equal to 400. This 400 will be called surplus value. Or we can say this 400 will be called profit of capitalistic. And capital accumulation is very important for economic growth. And capital accumulation depend on profit because capitalistic reinvest this profit. As a result, investment, output, employment and income also increase in economy. So we can say the investment lead uh, uh, towards economic growth. According to this theory, total value of output equal to C plus V plus S. Here C is constant capital. Constant capital means value of material and machinery. V is variable capital. Variable capital means labor used in production. S is surplus value. Surplus value means value created by labor above the wages paid to them. And formula of calculating surplus value is value of output produced by labor minus wages paid to them. For example, value of output produced by labor is equal to 500 and wages paid to them is equal to 100. 500 minus 100 is equal to 400. This 400 will be called a surplus value. So, the value, total value of output equal to C plus V plus S. C is constant capital, V is variable capital, S is surplus value. In order to understand Karl Marx theory, we need to know about some concept. First is rate of surplus value or we can say the rate of exploitation. Rate of surplus value or rate of exploitation both are same. And rate of surplus value is equal to S over V. Here S is surplus value. As we earlier discussed, surplus value also represent profit of capitalistic. V is variable capital. Variable capital means the number of labor you have. If you have more number of labor, that means your wages bill also more. So V also represent your wages bill. And this ratio S over V mainly tell us how much profit you are earning as compared to wages you are paying. If rate of surplus value is more, that means you are earning more profit as compared to paying wages to employees. If you are earning more profit but paying very less wages to employees, that means you are doing exploitation of labor. That's why rate of surplus value also called rate of exploitation. If rate of surplus value is high, that means you are doing more exploitation of labor. Next concept is rate of profit. Rate of profit equal to S over C plus V. Here S is surplus value or we can say the S is profit. C plus V is total capital. C is constant capital. V is variable capital. And this ratio mainly tells us part of total capital in surplus value. Or we can say that this ratio mainly tells us how much surplus value, how much profit we are earning as compared to doing expenditure on total capital. If our surplus value is more, then our rate of profit will more. That means we are earning more profit as compared to doing expenditure on uh, total capital.
नेक्स्ट कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर प्रॉफिट इज कॉल्ड ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल इज इक्वल टू सी ओवर वी हेयर सी इज कॉन्स्टेंट कैपिटल कॉन्स्टेंट कैपिटल मीन्स अवर मेटीरियल मशीनरी एसेट्रा वी इज वेरिएबल कैपिटल वेरिएबल कैपिटल मीन्स अवर लेबर एंड अवर प्रॉफिट डिपेंड ऑन ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल एंड प्रॉफिट एंड ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल हैव इन वर्स रिलेशन इफ ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल विल इंक्रीज दैन अवर प्रॉफिट विल फॉल इफ ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल विल फॉल दैन अवर प्रॉफिट विल इंक्रीज बट वाई ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल एंड प्रॉफिट हैव इन वर्स रिलेशन इफ ऑर्गेनिक कॉम्पोजिशन ऑफ कैपिटल इंक्रीज दैट मीन्स वी आर इंक्रीजिंग अवर कॉन्स्टेंट कैपिटल दैट मीन्स वी आर इंक्रीजिंग रॉ मटीरियल एंड मशीनरी बट रिड्यूजिंग अवर वेरिएबल कैपिटल रिड्यूजिंग अवर लेबर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस थियोरी कॉन्स्टेंट कैपिटल डोंट क्रिएट एनी टाइप ऑफ वैल्यू इट जस्ट ट्रांसफर देयर वैल्यू एक्चुअली वैल्यू इज क्रिएटेड बाय अवर लेबर लेबर इज इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स टू क्रिएट वैल्यू बिकॉज वी अर्न प्रॉफिट वैन वी माइनस वेजेस फ्रॉम वैल्यू ऑफ आउटपुट विच इज क्रिएटेड बाय लेबर एज वी अर्लियर डिस्कस अवर सरप्लस वैल्यू और वी कैन से द प्रॉफिट इज इक्वल टू अ वैल्यू ऑफ आउटपुट माइनस वेज सो एक्चुअल वैल्यू इज क्रिएटेड बाय लेबर वी अर्न प्रॉफिट बिकॉज ऑफ लेबर not because of constant capital if you are increasing constant capital but reducing variable capital then how you can earn profit that's why we can say that if organic composition of capital will increase that means we are increasing capital uh, we are increasing constant capital but reducing variable uh, variable capital that's why as organic composition of capital will increase our profit will fall as organic composition of capital will fall our profit will increase so organic composition of capital and profit have a inverse relation now we will see reserve army of labor reserve army of labor is group of employees who are unemployed but they are willing and ready to work reserve army of employees means group of employees who are unemployed but they are willing and ready to work as we know capitalists want to earn more and more profit and their profit depend on wages as we earlier discuss profit is difference between value of output minus wages if wages are low that means profit are more that's why in order to earn more and more profit capitalists try to reduce wages and sometime they use labor saving technology that means they are using more machineries for production if they are using more machinery that means they are doing less demand for labor or we can say that labor supply is more than labor demand if labor supply is always more than labor demand that means wage rate will not increase if wage rate will not increase the profit of capitalistic will remain high but when labor supply is more than labor demand that means some employees are unemployed na this unemployed employees will be called a reserve army of labor reserve army of labor is group of employees who are unemployed but they are willing and ready to work if there is more unemployment uh, less wages then obviously purchasing power of uh, employees will reduce that's why this reserve army of labor will not tolerate these kind of exploitation for long time period so they will revolt against capitalistic as a result according to this theory as a result uh, capitalistic will end and socialist will bowl and uh, where everyone will treat with equality now we understand this theory with the help of diagram in this diagram on x axis we have labor and y axis we have wages and output this dd is demand curve of labor this ls is supply curve of labor od is value of output which is produced by labor od is value of output which is produced by labor and ow are wages which are paid to them and difference between od and ow is equal to dw this part will be called difference between value of output produced by labor and wages paid to them and this difference will be called surplus value or we can say this difference will be called profit of capitalistic this part will be called profit of capitalistic now capitalistic use labor saving technology means now they start using more machineries or we can say that they increase organic composition of capital as we know increase in organic composition of capital means we are using more constant capital we are using more machineries as they increase organic composition of capital obviously their output will increase 
now value of total output is od1 and wages are ow difference between od1 and ow is equal to d1 w now this part will be called surplus value or we can say this whole part will be called profit of capitalist here you can see they are using more and more machinery but doing very less demand of employees you can see employees demand increase from ol2 ol1 only they demand ll1 employees they means they are creating very less demand for employees that's why after some time period labor demand curve will become steeper here you can see labor demand curve has shifted backward because of less demand of labor if labor demand is less as compared to supply or we can the labor supply is more than labor demand that means more employees are unemployed so this part even a k2 will be called reserve army of employees as we earlier discussed reserve army of employees is group of employees who are unemployed but they are willing and ready to work so this is the whole part w d1 e1 this part will be called profit of capitalist but capitalist cannot earn this profit for long time period their profit will reduce but why there are so many causes first cause is increase in organic composition of capital as we know organic composition of capital and profit have a inverse relation when organic composition of capital increase profit for second less wages they are paying very less wages to employees as a result their purchasing power will fall if their purchasing power fall then who will buy product which is produced by capitalistic demand fall as a result prices fall prices fall profit will also fall next there is any cut throat competition between so many capitalistic and become cause of reducing profit last is reserve army of labor reserve army of labor will not bear these kind of exploitation for long time period and they will revolt against capitalistic as a result capitalistic will end and socialistic will born where everyone will treat with equality now we will see criticism of this theory this theory only applicable in static economy not in dynamic economy according to this theory labor saving technology increase unemployment but this is possible only in short time period not in long time period this theory neglect the role of government as we know government play very important role for economic growth but this theory neglect the role of government and this theory do wrong forecasting to capitalist according to this theory reserve army of labor will not bear exploitation for long time period and they will revolt against capitalistic and capitalistic will end but this is a wrong forecasting of capitalistic this theory define a process of falling profit but this process of falling profit is not correct so this is all about karl marx theory of development i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care